put all this in the kitchen and we can start to look at what we're going to have for dinner. I'm Kate. And I'm Clive and our six-year-old son Charlie has type 1 diabetes. He's a great kid, isn't he? He is a great kid. Okay guys, we are going to have a chicken and stir fry tonight. Sorry. So Charlie was diagnosed when he just turned uh, five, nine months ago now. So we'll chop it up into nice little pieces. Can you do that? You can do it by yourself. There was a uh, yeah, very steep learning curve, learning about sugars and carbohydrates and, and what the relationship is between that and Charlie's condition and his insulin management. All right, in goes the coriander. Okay. When parents find out that they have a young child with diabetes, it can be really daunting initially. But with some help and some support and some education, most families get into a really good routine at home and their children thrive and do very well. Straight away we were looking at packaging and hidden sugars um, and making sure that he wasn't having any of those. So that can be a challenge when other kids are eating things, ice creams, um, particularly in the summer and things when he has to learn now that he can't do that. And Charlie's typically will ask if things are sugar free, so I guess that's part of Charlie's learning curve as well, um, to develop his own awareness around foods. How many carbs is there in this capsicum? Well, capsicum is a free food, so there's no carbs in it, so Charlie can eat as much capsicum as he likes. We did always um, have a healthy diet before diagnosis, so it hasn't changed too much. Um, but we certainly make sure we have a really balanced meal. Um, we always have um, carbohydrates, particularly now that we're carb counting, um, protein, a dairy. Now, Charlie, we're going to do a quick finger prick, all right, mate? All set. Quick finger prick. 16.2. That's a little bit high. We need to give you some extra insulin for that one, Charlie. So what we're going to do today is we're going to sort these foods into the five food groups and look at what healthy eating is for a small child with diabetes. We're doing quite a number of studies on food in the Institute at the moment. We're looking at um, the relationship between fat and protein and insulin requirements. We're learning that foods that have a lot of fat and protein in them, like pizzas and lasagnas, might need a little bit extra insulin. There's a phone line and parents can ring in and speak to one of the nurses during the day. So there's always someone here to help. Francis needs to exercise and eat lots of healthy food. Emily is Charlie's older sister. She's certainly become fully immersed in it and changed her diet and um, she knows a lot of information about type 1 diabetes now. But keeping fit and healthy puts everyone in a good mood. Kids with diabetes can live normal lives, they can eat you know, normal healthy food that all other children eat. Um, looking after a child with diabetes just takes that little bit of extra planning and work. Yeah, you be very careful. I think you, you learn sort of tricks of the trade, so I spend um, time on a Sunday getting things ready normally for the week, um, freezing meals, things like that, um, that you can pull out in the week. I think an important thing with type 1 is um, that you try very hard that it doesn't define your child or your family and it's something that you learn to manage and live with. You don't need to think of it as a restricted diet, it's just a healthy diet. Charlie's a happy little boy, he um, loves his superheroes, yeah he's full of life and and he does love his food as well. He, he does love to eat and he you know, enjoys the food that we provide him, so that's, that's awesome. Yeah.